a solar energy project is coming to the Pine Ridge Reservation thanks to the American Solar Energy Society and a $500,000 grant from the EPA. We're just out in the middle of nowhere. We don't have any industry here, manufacturing facility. We're not a casino tribe, nothing here. So here we are in a 21st century, the people of the Oglala Lakota. It's a struggle here every day. 1970, 1960 mobile homes, which are real thin walls. You know, they're basically a cracker box. They uh, attract a lot of heat. And then during the winter, they're really cold. Houses are built so poorly, then they're not insulated well enough. It gets brutally cold here. You can feel minus 20 degrees on any given day throughout the winter months. They heat their homes with propane easily $500 per month. So you got 40 people living in a, a small house, combining their money, trying to keep the heat and the lights on. Red Cloud Renewable has been working with solar energy since 1997, and now is looking to help those on the Pine Ridge Reservation through the Dome Project. We're able to solarify these units with a battery base system, charge controller, inverter and being able to uh, so they can be completely off the grid. You have off-grid solar, now you have power and water and a home and you can live with your family, with your community. Once the homes are completed, the reservation could become known leaders in the sustainability movement. Energy and, and solar systems are great, but you gotta have houses to put them on and also the right houses to put them on. Red Cloud Renewable is gonna be able to build and construct 22 of these small homes, all with solar powered energy here on Pine Ridge and expect them all to be up and running and housed by fall of next year. You see what we call R factor. This how this is how thick the concrete is. As big as my, as long as my arm is, that's how thick it is. New construction with the dome homes is a good match for a good start with the solar. We got a battery bank right here. We're plugged into this building right here. We're, as I showed you that first one, this is the brother. This is another one. And we're plugged into here and it's running the lights and all of these. This is the electrical. This material is really kind of incredible. It's 80% air, so it's incredibly insulating as well as structural. Just pump the cellular concrete in between those and wait for it to dry. And once you're done, uh, 14 hours later, you've got a structure that'll stand there that's um, hyper efficient. With the solar attached to it, uh, savings are going to be tremendous. The CPA grant has provided Project Teoshpae with the resources to have significant impact on the quality of life for Indigenous people in what we hope becomes a nationwide implementation of solar energy. And this funding provides the critically needed marriage of ultra-clean solar energy with these life-changing net-zero dome dwellings at Pine Ridge. Kudos to the federal government making it possible where we can do it. We can make that model. We can transition into this green society and then get reconnected. Red Cloud Renewable hopes it also leads to more economic opportunities. In Pine Ridge, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. Uh, they are finishing up details and hope to have everything finalized and ready to go by early 2024. Pine Ridge model is underway. <laughs>